Okay, now we're going to look at organs and systems. Now remember when you guys are looking at these torsos that you need to be thinking what body system is it in, what covering does it have, what plane of section is it cut in, not just what organ is it, okay? We'll do the head in a minute, but I'm going to go ahead and start in the neck and we'll move down superficial and then we'll take off some things and go a little deeper. So right here in the neck, the first thing you can find is your thyroid gland. Thyroid gland is part of the endocrine system. Right here, this blue structure below the thyroid gland is your trachea. The trachea is part of the respiratory system. Neither of these are really in a body cavity. This structure right here is your larynx. So this is actually the voice box, which is part of the larynx. That's also part of the respiratory system. Lungs, right lung, left lung, part of the respiratory system. You can see the aorta here in red, the superior vena cava in blue, and the pulmonary trunk in blue right below the aorta. Those are all part of the circulatory system. Here is your heart, also part of the circulatory system. This large brown structure right here is the liver, and this little green structure is the gallbladder. The liver and the gallbladder are part of the digestive system. This is the stomach, also part of the digestive system. Small intestine, all this pink part of the small uh, digestive system. And this is your large intestine, this gray structure that goes around three pieces, one, two, three. That's large intestine, it's all also part of the digestive system. So the lungs are in the pleural cavity, the heart is in the pericardial cavity. All of these digestive organs are in the abdominal cavity. These structures here, these vessels, Aorta and superior vena cava are in what's called the media steinum, which is between the lungs here on top of the heart. Now we'll go a little deeper. We'll take the lungs off. Now notice when I take these lungs off that you can see that these lungs have been cut. These are cut in a plane of section. Heart's going to fall. Ah, heart wants to fall out there. That plane that the lungs are cut in, where the front half is cut off, is called your frontal or coronal plane. So these lungs are cut in the frontal or coronal plane of section. And here's a nice view of the heart. You have right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium, left ventricle, pulmonary trunk, aorta, superior vena cava. Now if I take the top half of this heart off, You can actually see the atrium ventricle a little bit better. So here's right atrium, that space, right ventricle, left ventricle, and then left atrium up in here. And we'll look at that on the big heart as well. If I take this heart out, you can see the full mediastinum. Back here we can see the esophagus, which is in the mediastinum. That's that uh, kind of peachy looking tube. Here's the aorta. Here are your bronchus that are branching from the trachea, also part of the respiratory system. Remember, esophagus goes to the stomach. It's part of digestion, digestive system. Aorta is part of the circulatory system. Now this cavity right here, where the heart was, is your pericardial cavity, so you can see the space now. Now remember, the heart itself is covered with a serous membrane called the visceral pericardium. So if this were in here and there was a tag and it said name the layer or name the covering, then you would say visceral pericardium. The lung tissue itself, the lungs, the organ, the shiny part of the organ, the covering of this organ is called the visceral pleura. Remember visceral, if it's on the organ, on the heart, the lungs, or the abdomen. So this would all be covered in a visceral peritoneum, is the word you use for the abdominal covering. Visceral pleura, visceral pericardium. Okay, now we'll take some of these digestive organs out. You can see the gallbladder a little bit better under the liver. You can see that green structure right there. That's the gallbladder. 
If we look behind the stomach on top of the intestine, you can see this structure right here, which is the pancreas. Okay, so behind the stomach, deep to the stomach, but on top of the intestine. <clears throat> I'll look a little deeper here. There's your esophagus again, in case you didn't see it before. Here's your bronchus. You've got bronchus going to each long trachea here, right in the middle. Superior vena cava, aorta, and here are your lungs cut in a coronal section. Now if we look down at the abdomen a little bit closer, all the organs in here would be covered with uh, visceral peritoneum. And now we can see our deep organs. We've got kidneys on either side. On top of each kidney is this little structure here called the adrenal gland. This structure right here looks kind of like a kidney, but this is the spleen. That was the pancreas right here. Pancreas is part of the endocrine system and part of the digestive system. The kidneys are part of the urinary system. The adrenal glands are part of the endocrine system. And the spleen is part of the lymphatic immune system. Here's the inferior vena cava and the aorta, again, part of circulatory system. This tube right here that goes down into the pelvis is your ureter and that's part of the urinary system as well. And they're going to dump into this structure right here, which is the urinary bladder, which is part of the urinary system. This is the rectum, also part of the digestive system, because it comes off the large intestine. And I think that's it for this. The only other thing I wanted to point out to you is that this is the back of the abdominal cavity. Okay, this whole thing is the abdominal cavity. The covering of the back of this and all around the front as well, which you just can't see, so it would come all the way up and around, would be parietal peritoneum. Okay, remember parietal, when we talk about serous membranes, is the covering on the wall of the cavity. So if it's covering the abdominal cavity wall, it's parietal peritoneum. If it's covering the organ itself, it's visceral peritoneum. Same with the pleura. So on the lung would be visceral pleura, right here. On the body wall, which has basically been removed, it would be parietal pleura. On top of the heart would be your visceral pericardium. Around the mediastinum, the, the pericardial cavity, would be the parietal pericardium. In this case, you can't really see that well. Okay, now we'll look at the head. If I, <coughs> sorry, if I take this head off and separate it like this, so separate it into right and left halves, that is a mid-sagittal plane of section. So this head portion would demonstrate a mid-sagittal plane. <clears throat> right here we can see the brain, which is part of the nervous system located in the cranial cavity. This is the spinal cord here, part of the nervous system located in the vertebral cavity. <clears throat> we have some other cavities here, like the nasal cavity, which is where air comes in through the nose the oral cavity, which is the cavity inside the mouth, and the pharynx, which is the cavity behind the nose and the mouth. Then this will go down into the larynx, which you can't really see on here. I'll show you on a different model. You can see some tonsils on this model. One of those is in pink right here. And then you also have a tonsil here at the base of the tongue and right here on the, basically at the end of the soft palate. Tonsils are part of the lymphatic immune system. <clears throat> if you look in the brain on this one, it's, you can't really see the pituitary, but you can see the pineal gland, which is right there. We'll look at a larger um, sagittal cut of the brain. <clears throat>